Hi, my name is Christy Lauren, and I just shot with Amanda Elkins, and we did a fun little photo shoot for my friend's line. And this is me, Christy Lauren. Um, if I were to describe myself in three words using only nouns, it'd probably be Barbie. Um, kitty cat, if that counts, I know that's still two words, but um, I'll just mesh them together and use one. And for the third one, a butterfly, I guess? I don't know, they're kind of just not... I'm not saying I'm, I'm graceful like a butterfly because I'm very clumsy, but you know how butterflies always should kind of flutter from place to place, just kind of light and airy, that's me. So, um, what's my favorite pastime? Um, it would have to be watching Johnny Bravo with my dad when I was about six. Um, I'd go into my dad's room and it'd be, you know, Saturday morning cartoons and I would just sit there with him and we'd watch Johnny Bravo and just do his little things and they were really fun. Two things that I can't live without, probably my cell phone, as unoriginal as that sounds, but um, I also probably couldn't live without coffee. Not because I'm the kind of person that's like, oh my god, I'm so tired, I need my coffee, but just, you know, I like the taste of it. Um, when was the last time I did a, the last time I did a household chore? I feel, it was probably doing laundry, which I'm really good at. <laughs> it's like the one thing that I'm good at and actually enjoy doing. So I probably just did a lot of laundry and made my bed and stuff. Um, not because I'm a neat freak, but just I feel like once my bed is neat, then my room just kind of looks cleaner, so I don't really touch the rest of my room, I just leave it at that. Um, one person that I met and was mesmerized by was Megan Fox. Um, I was with my friend and we were at Urban Outfitters and she says to me, oh my god, that's Megan Fox. And I'm like, no, you're lying. Like, no, it's not. And she's like, no, look, there's your tattoo. And I freaked out and I think I was actually shaking and hyperventilating just because I think she's so awesome. And I was like, hi, I just wanted to let you know I think you're amazing. And she was like, oh wow, thanks so much. And it was just such an amazing moment in my life. And I felt like my life was complete at that time. <laughs> um, and if I had to only choose one item from my closet, it would probably be a black dress just because you know you could do anything with that because you know if it's I mean not really tight fitting you know just like a flowy black dress because they're very flattering and you can accessorize it as much as you want it'll still look nice um, things that inspire me are people that just show a passion for something even if they're not necessarily the best person at their craft fact that they're working so hard to get what they want that really inspires me and you know in whatever you feel that you want to do is if you're working hard at something then I say good for you because you're trying to get that leg up I and mean, that just really inspires me. Um, a habit that no one knows about is I pick it with my cuticles a lot when I'm nervous it's kind of just like a little and I fiddle with my fingers a lot too. I, I don't really do this kind of thing, but I just kind of do this while I'm standing up. So it's kind of a weird quirk of mine, I guess. And um, something exciting going on in my life is I just booked Fox's new pilot, I Hate My Teenage Daughter. And I will be playing Sophie, who is Jamie Preston's daughter. So that should be pretty exciting, and I'm really stoked about that.